Welcome to Tech Solution Z, your place for practical Linux and tech tutorials that actually help you get things done. Today, we're diving into MX Linux 25, also known as Infinity. This release builds on Debian 13 Trixie, and it's one of the biggest updates MX has seen in years. It feels faster, looks sharper, and brings a lot of under the hood improvements that make it worth checking out. Right from boot, you can tell something's changed. MX25 starts quicker, the desktop animations are smoother, and apps just snap open faster. Underneath, it's powered by the Linux 6.12 LTS kernel, with an optional Lecorex 6.16 AHS version for newer hardware. That means better CPU, GPU, and Wi-Fi driver support right out of the box. No hunting for patches or extra packages. One of the most noticeable structural changes is the init system setup. MX now defaults to system D, but the team hasn't forgotten traditional users. Sysv init editions for XFCE and Fluxbox are still available. It's a smart middle ground that gives you choice without complexity. When it comes to desktops, you get three options. XFCE 4.20 is still the flagship, lightweight, clean, and familiar. KDE Plasma 6.3.6 .6 now uses Wayland by default, which makes everything feel more fluid, especially on laptops with touchpads or hybrid graphics. And Fluxbox continues to be the ultra-light version for older hardware, but it's now cleaner with new menus, a refreshed panel, and faster startup. The installer has been overhauled too. There's a brand new option to replace an existing installation, perfect if you want to reinstall MX without wiping your data. Secure Boot is now officially supported on 64-bit systems, and ZRAM swap support helps systems with low memory perform more smoothly. Then there's the MX Tools Suite, the signature control center that defines MX Linux. Every tool now runs on Qt 6, giving it a modern look and smoother UI transitions. The old APT notifier is gone, replaced with the MX Updater, which supports Nala for cleaner and faster package updates. It feels more professional and much easier to read. On the power side, KDE editions have switched from TLP to PowerProfiles.d, which integrates with Plasma's built-in power settings, that means better battery handling and no conflicts. The cleanup tool is smarter too. It now removes unused Wi-Fi drivers, old DKMS modules, and language files you don't use, freeing up extra disk space automatically. Performance-wise, MX25 hits the sweet spot. It's light enough to run comfortably on older machines, but powerful and modern enough to handle daily workloads or multimedia use. Compared to MX23, everything just feels tighter from boot times to desktop responsiveness. So who should upgrade? If you're already on MX23, this one is absolutely worth it. The new kernel, updated toolset, and desktop refinements make a noticeable difference. And if you're coming from another Debian-based distro, MX25 gives you control, stability, and customization without the headaches. At the end of the day, MX Linux 25 Infinity isn't trying to reinvent itself, it's maturing. It delivers stability, polish, and performance in equal measure. It's still the MX Linux you know, just sharper, faster, and more future-ready. This is Tech Solution Z, and that was a quick look at MX Linux 25 Infinity, a distro that continues to prove you don't need flashiness to be great. Download it from the official MX Linux site, give it a spin, and tell me what you think in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss more Linux and tech content right here on Tech Solution Z. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.